In this video, I want to offer you an overview of Skahoy, our products, and how it all comes together in our ecosystem. If you're an end user, that will help you to maximize the investment of your Skahoy product, because you can know how it can do more, and also how you can add more to it, because it will work seamlessly together. And resellers, you have customers, you need to offer advice to these, and with this video, I'll equip you to better understand the options that Skahoy are providing. The system integrators out there, you will know how to pick the right tool for the job, and that's great in itself. So what Skyhoy does is we are developing and manufacturing universal broadcast control panels for live production and AV productions. And it falls into categories such as PDC camera control, uh, color shading on cameras, uh, we have vision mixing, there's audio replay and routing control, and finally auxiliary category with various devices. The devices we control, the brands we support would be Ari, Sony, uh, Panasonic, Red, uh, Canon, Grass Valley with AMP protocol uh, platform, Everts, we have Biamp, Ross, there's a Vadio, uh, Lavo, we have um, Marshall, there's uh, Baco, VMix, Blackmagic Design. Almost any brand in Avian Broadcast will have devices that we have integrated with or where those brands are integrating with us. So we are truly universal in the software nature of our products. If you look at the DNA of Skahoy, you'll find that we are all about premium quality in the hardware and in the software. But when you look at the hardware, we are also investing into tactility. We are all about making the tactile, physical, touching experience cooler and better. And we have in innovated things like the RCP joystick on our RCP Pro. Have you ever seen any joystick that cool with a display on top that will show you in clear large numbers what is the iris value or anything you code on it, by the way, because you, it, it's programmable. But that component, that RCP joystick, it has the same feel as the Sony RCP, but it is just so much cooler and awesome. We invented that. We have our own T-bar with a cool display that also shows you the indication of transition positioning. We have four-way buttons which are spread across all our products. They are essentially small binary joysticks where the touch on the upper, lower, left and right edges can be detected and routed to the parameter you want to control. If you want to do that, you can also have all edges do the same. It's all about options. And that brings us down to the quick start deep options. So what that means is when you purchase our products, you don't need to program them from the ground up to get anything done. No, they will work out of the box. You get quickly started by searching for your device on the network. You pick it, you choose a configuration or profile, which basically tells the product how to control that product. And that's it. You can stop right there, but there are deep options. You can customize it and tweak it as much as you want. And the more you want to do that, the more difficult it's also going to get because you need to learn more about our amazing platform. Because underneath there is a very, very powerful software in place. It's uh, running on Linux. We call it the whole platform, the Blue Pill platform. You can install applications and the main one is called Reactor, which is what binds the devices and the panels together. And we have device cores, one for each device that we control. So that whole software ecosystem is really amazing. If you look at the hardware, we have many unique form factors. We have RCPs for shading base, we have uh, tabletop units in different sizes, rack mounted units. We have small to large, that's another thing. Don't ask, can the, what can you control with the large and the small controller? Well, they all can control the same cameras. It's not sure that the small one is as perfect to control something that than the large controller is. But the idea of offering this many unique form factors is we have different price point and we also have different sizes physically that fits different types of customers. But they are all running on the same software platform. We also have great support. Not only is our support team the best in the world, but we also have cool options that will help them to log into your Skahoy device remotely if you need help directly on your configuration. And finally, I want to highlight that we are made in Denmark. This is where I'm from. Yes, we are proud about that. Now, if we look at the ecosystem that we have built, the Blue Pill platform, you need to understand it this way. There are like panels, physical buttons here, and then we have devices over here we want to control with the buttons and knobs and faders and joysticks on the panels. And to bind those two things together, we need software. The software is 
it consists of a hardware panel profile. We have a device core, which is uh, the implementation of the protocol of the device we control. And in between, we have reactor. Reactor is essentially binding together button presses and parameters on devices. It is also what will channel feedback from devices over on the panel. So you see a value on a display and a color on a button. That's what Reactor does. It's a panel orchestration engine, essentially. And I want you to understand that Reactor is not a piece of software that runs on a computer external to your panel. It runs on the panel. The panel itself has enough computing power inside to run a Linux that can host Reactor, it can host all the device cores you need to talk to your devices and even more applications. There are different other applications. We won't cover that in this overview video, but it is all inside one of the panels that you own. No need for an external Mac, PC, Linux, server, anything. It is self-contained, all right? That's very, very important because it's also very unique. Inside of Reactor, you basically see a reflection of what I just told you. You have devices on the right side, which you search on the network, you add them with an IP address or serial converter. You have panels on the other side, and yes, you can actually have multiple panels. And for each panel, you pick a configuration typically, or you can make your own. But the out of the box quick start would be pick a configuration, and then it just works. If you want to tweak, you go to the configuration tab and there you see a graphical view of your Skyhawk panel and you can zoom in and you can click a button and you can assign a parameter, um, a behavior we call it, from any of the devices that you have added. Very easy. It's just like a Stream Deck. You have multiple pages you can do this on. And you can build on top of existing configurations. The default configurations, they are difficult to to, to modify inherently, we built them quite professionally, but you can always overlay your own things on top and that's super easy with the configuration engine. Remember, it is a very deep software, so you can easily configure certain things and you can also tweak down to the most intimate detail inside your panels, but it requires more knowledge. And then finally, you can go into the Packages tab where you can install new applications as we are releasing more and more of these. And that's how your Skyhoy product will grow and be able to do more in the future. That's really cool. If you look at the hardware, I want to mention that we have like a main version of most products. Take PTC Fly as an example. This is PTC Fly as it, it normally looks. It has a standard joystick. That's the main option. But we also do have a premium option with a Hall Effect joystick. It has better ergonomic feel, it looks cooler, it has more precision. This is often a built to order option. It may not be in stock. The main option is in stock usually. So because we have so many products, it's useful for you to keep in mind that we have like main and options. Another one would be Airfly Pro. Airfly Pro has four way buttons on the program preview row by default. That is our main Airfly Pro. And we stock that. We also have an option with NKK keys. It may not be in stock, it may be a build to order option, it depends. But that option, it costs extra. You can order that if you know exactly that this is the kind of tactile experience you want. If you look at a Waveboard Mini, for instance, then this product has options with different color variations. So Waveboard Mini is um, by default in blue, that is our main option and then or the main product, then we have options in black and also a slim version in black, which is perfect for mega panel building, which is when many of our controllers come together in a, in a physically condensed array of products that work together in a modular way to be like um, a large switching system. So that's how we have built up our product portfolio. And I wanna end the video by taking you through the different, seven different categories of products and the main products in each of these. So for PTC control, you'll find PTC Extreme, PTC Pro, and PTC Fly. PTC Extreme is the largest controller. It is definitely for the high-end productions. PTC Pro is very generic. It is like in the middle. It's great for any studio, flyaway kits, etc. And it has a quite good deal of buttons and direct control 
um, on it. And finally, we have P2C Fly, which is the size and simplicity option that a lot of people is going for because it is not intimidating to the average operator. So consider that one if that is your concern. And that is a good example of how we build our portfolio because they can all control the same cameras. It is just different sizes depending on your application. Inside camera control, we have RCP Pro, classic RCP form factor, and then we have Colorfly, which is vastly different because it is a different form factor that has motorized faders, perfect for multi-camera control. RCP Pro is best for single camera, obviously. So that is a very good example of how these are complementary for different use cases. And there's also variations of the RCP, but that's like this category, mainly uh, the, the two products you need to know about. If you look at the vision mixing category, we have Airfly Pro. That is a favorite, super powerful and still affordable controller. And then we have Master Key One, which is a popular option with high-end studios and installations. And it is very scalable as well because it's also designed to fit into the mega panel uh, layout of uh, buttons and knobs and faders, etc. You will um, be able to see that confirmed. If you look at the mega panel, you can see there are some similarities right there. Both of these products are great because they are using the Skahoy designed premium T-bar. And they, of course, have the dedicated preview program rows of buttons built into them. If you look at our fader banks for audio, we have Waveboard and Waveboard Mini. And Waveboard is eight channels with a fader that has a display. There's a knob on top with the display. And there are three buttons you can assign to solo, mute, etc. on these panels. And then we have auxiliary buttons on the side that would be for paging, etc. The Waveboard and Waveboard Mini is essentially eight channels or four channels. And the Waveboard Mini, for instance, can be used solo or it can be used as an extension to the Waveboard. That's up to you, essentially. But that's the two audio products we have. For replay, we have Timespin. This is like a new era replay surface. Uh, products it would work with, vMix. Dreamship SSM 500 slow motion camera. We have uh, M Replay from Softron and of course TriCaster from Visart. And then we have in the Link IO category three products I need you to know about, and that would be the Blue Pill Server, which is a product that helps you to convert your old uh, or older Skyhoy products running on the Uniscape platform, which is the one the platform we have had for years. To integrate that into the Blue Pill universe, you need the Blue Pill Server if you don't have any other Blue Pill device. Ask us if you uh, are in doubt about it. We have Ethernet GPI Link, very uh, popular product for GPIO. Eight channels of inputs, eight outputs, networked with an Ethernet jack, and great with Blue Pill products. And a unique product, TCP Link for ATEM, is converting the ATEM protocol into a simple human readable ASCII text protocol you can use with Crestron, Xtron systems, AV systems where you need simpler ways to control an ASIM switcher. You can do that with that one. Very popular as well. And for routing, I want to mention two out of our more or less 10 REC products. That would be RecFly Uno that has 24 four-way buttons with this place on top and RecFly Pro that has 15 broadcast buttons and an encoder with this place. We have, of course, many more products and variations, but these are like the main ones in the seven categories. I hope that was a useful presentation that helped you to understand our ecosystem better and navigate in that. If you like this video, I invite you to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. You can sign up for our newsletter. And if you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team or our support team, and they'll be so happy to help you.